Okay, motorcycle. I see you. What am I doing? Oh my god. Okay. Hey friends, it's Ash. Welcome back to a new video on my channel. So, I'm gonna be totally honest, I really did not have anything planned. Um, I wasn't even planning on filming today, but like, I'm home alone right now and that's like a prime opportunity for me to film videos because then I don't have to feel awkward about my parents or my sister hearing me and thinking that I'm just talking to myself because that's super weird. So today I'm going to be giving you guys high school advice because I am a senior in high school and I am basically over it. I am so done. But I thought it'd be cool to impart some wisdom on the internet because high school is a whole new ball game. And I've honestly learned a lot in high school and I know a lot of my friends will vouch for this too. Like it's a really integral part of your life and I thought I would just share what I've learned to help anyone that is in high school still or is going to enter high school next year. So before I forget to say this, because I literally always forget to say this, if you're new here, you should hit subscribe. It's somewhere down below. So anyways, this is 10 things that I've learned in high school. So one of the biggest things that I've learned in my high school career is that friend groups will shift a lot. Luckily for me, a majority of the people that I entered high school with, I will still have in my life as we leave high school, but there are some people that I've met throughout my four years that are not in my life anymore because they've either drifted apart or I had to completely cut them off. Either way, my friend group has changed a lot throughout the years and honestly, that's just like the natural cycle of life. You know, like in the moment you think, oh, these are the people that are still gonna be my best friends after college. And the sad reality is that's probably not true. I, I have talked to so many of my friends that have already graduated and they say that like, they barely speak to their high school friends anymore. And that's totally okay because anyone that leaves your life is just making room for someone better to fill it. Um, so yeah, just like, realize that your friends may or may not change and that's totally fine, it's totally natural. The next big tip that I would definitely give, especially to any juniors that are creating their cl class schedules for senior year, do not, and I repeat, do not take five AP classes because I promise you, your senior self will regret it. I I'm taking four AP classes right now and I hate myself because I'm just dying. <laughs> I'm kidding, it's actually not that bad, but there are times when I'm just like, oh, why did I do this to myself? Or like, especially after I committed to college, I was just like, what is the point anymore? I would recommend only taking like one or two APs if you're like up for that, but trust me, like your senior year, you just really don't want to be that stressed out because you know, it's your last year. You want to have a time to have a little more fun. The third thing I would say kind of goes along with what I last said about stress. Really learn how to balance like academics and stress because especially in the sophomore and junior year, I was the type of person that would just study until I dropped. And that was super unhealthy because I was super stressed. I had so many mental breakdowns. It was insane. <laughs> My senior year, even though I'm taking more AP classes than I ever have, I have kind of learned how to balance like stress and work and I don't feel that constant need to always be on top of my game. Like, I'm okay if I procrastinate just a little bit. Yeah, just, you know, when you're in high school, it can get really stressful at times, but just, you know, remember to relax. It's all gonna be fine. So my fourth tip is to start thinking about college early. I know some people start thinking about college like in their second semester, junior year, maybe their first semester, but I think it actually be a lot less stressful for you if you start a little earlier than that. Start thinking about it, you know? Think about what schools you want to apply to, what you might possibly want to major in, and then all of the like actual paperwork where you have to get letters of recommendations for your teacher and fill out the Common App. Like, all of that can be done later, but at least start thinking about it because for me, I was thinking about college for a very long time before I was actually applying and it really made the process a lot less stressful for me. Yeah, I would definitely say 
if you want to have a less stressful college application process, then start thinking about it early if you can. The fifth piece of advice that I would give you guys is to stay out of drama. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> my junior year and like the first semester, first quarter of my senior year was filled with a lot more drama than I would have liked, just, you know, relationship wise. But in retrospect, even though I learned a lot from that experience, I totally could have avoided it and it was totally not worth it, you know? It's also not worth being sad over for the rest of my senior year. And yeah, I'll, honestly, all I would say about drama is try to avoid it and if you can't, don't let it ruin your high school experience because you only get to go to high school once, thankfully. My next piece of advice is to do extracurriculars that you actually enjoy. I made that mistake of joining like 13 clubs my freshman year and I ended up dropping almost all of them because it was just a waste of my time and I didn't like it. <laughs> I was only doing it to make myself look good for college, but I've come to realize that if you go really hard into one or two clubs that you're really interested in, then it's gonna look just as good, if not better because then colleges will know that like you're driven and you're passionate about this thing. My next piece of advice is to think of the bigger picture. And what I mean by that is realize that high school doesn't last forever. It's only four years. You'll get through it. I went into high school thinking, oh my god, this will be exactly like High School Musical. Everyone's gonna break out into song randomly in the hallways about how summer is starting and everything will be all sunshine and rainbows. Nope. That's that's not what happened. I still haven't found a Troy Bolton to take me to prom yet, but we're getting there. But yeah, no, I totally get it. High school is rough at times, and there are times that I've been like, oh my god, I can't do this anymore, what's the point? I'm so done, I'm so over it. I am so done, I am so over it. It's okay, I'm pulling through. And that's like the biggest piece of advice I can give, is just to pull through. Because even if it's rough, you still have college, and you still have the rest of your life to live. I always love this quote, it's um, if you're in hell, keep going because who wants to stay in hell? Like, yeah, I get that. That took way too long for me to film that last tip. The next piece of advice that I have, um, I've really, I had to learn the hard way and it's people don't owe you anything. Everyone is looking out for their own happiness at the end of the day and you should too. That's all you got is just yourself. And if you're not happy, then like, what's the point of trying to make other people happy, you know? Do what makes you happy. Don't let anyone try to hold you back. It doesn't matter what other people think. It only matters what makes you happy. My next piece of advice is so super cheesy, but it's totally relevant. So I'm gonna say it anyways. Don't be afraid to be yourself. Oh my God, ew, I sound like Hannah Montana. No, it's actually like true. Don't follow trends if you don't like them. Don't do things you wouldn't normally do. It's stupid. No one actually cares and it won't matter how you dress or how you act. Like, the right people will come to you if you just be yourself because if you have to change for someone else, then you're not gonna be happy. And like I said before, you gotta work towards your own happiness, fam. My last tip is to just have fun. Like honestly, it's four years of your life that you're never gonna get back. And even though it's super rough, make the most of it. Go to those high school events that you think are super cheesy. Go out once in a while. Just make the most out of your high school experience. Because even though there are so many challenges that you'll face throughout those four years, there are still so many opportunities to pursue. And you should take every chance you get to have some fun. So yeah, do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to this point in the video, you are a super good human. And I'm talking fast because my battery's gonna die. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video.